Boom shakalaka, the real reason for today's Bitcoin price dump and where the price could likely be headed. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts, including the real reason for today's Bitcoin price dump and where the price could be headed. Before we get into it, guys, like the video, it helps out a lot. Now today, fear and greed, 68 down from yesterday's 70. The overall market down over 5%. Bitcoin at 42,843. Ethereum at 2216. BNB at 319. Solana $98. XRP 57 cents. Cardano 55 cents. Avalanche $36. And Dogecoin 8 cents. And you can see Bitcoin after having a nice big green candle. Look at the wick on this red candle right here, all the way down to $40,000. actually tagged this line of support and the 50-day moving average before coming back up to still find support on this longer term trend line. We can see right here, almost $100 million in long liquidations in a mere 15 minutes with that type of volatility. Yowza. Now, if we take a look, the recent surge in Bitcoin price above $45,000 seemed to be backed by significant whale activity. You can see the gray area is whale transaction count. And in the past week, whales accumulated over 30,000 Bitcoin, coinciding with a spike in their transaction count. The accumulation could be a key factor driving the current upswing. And you're like, but if whales are accumulating Bitcoin, how is the price dropping? Well, let Willy Wu explain this one for you. The long demand in the system is getting pretty frothy. The basis trade, which is buying spot Bitcoin like these whales right here are doing, while shorting perpetual futures in a hedged trade to collect the funding rate paid by bullish speculators on Bitcoin, is earning 75% right now, a level unseen since the 2021 bull market. You can see right here, not since the 2021 bull market were they able to make this much on a trade, a hedged trade, just buying it based on speculators, very bullish speculators. So basically, the frothiness of the market, everyone is getting owned right now. And Willie Wu uh, mentioned this quite a while back. He said this back in December. He said the Bitcoin market in a nutshell, long-term price is determined by investment and adoption. Short-term price is a random walk in the direction that liquidates the most traders on Binance. As we can see right here, $100 million of traders liquidated in a mere 15 minutes. So that's what's causing the massive volatility we're seeing recently. But if we take a look at previous cycles, it's nothing new. You can see on this one, minus 29, minus 40, minus 33. Here we had minus 29, minus 54, 18. So large corrections are pretty new pretty par for the course, nothing new. Don't get shaken out. There will be several short-term pullbacks before Bitcoin reaches its peak. Up only up isn't that easy, but it's inevitable. Don't get shaken out. As of Bitcoin right now, reclaiming a long-term trend line. Just because some matrix report scatters false information, do you think Bitcoin breaks the trend line that's been in place for over a year? Perfect retest of this trend line. They want to shake you out of the market before it goes higher. Don't fall for it. So a lot coming up. As a matter of fact, there's only one January 3rd in history, which is the birthday of Bitcoin. There's only one January 3rd in history where Bitcoin price was actually higher than it was this January 3rd yesterday. This was back in 2022 because in 2021, it was only 33,000. 2022 was 46,000. Right now, 43,450. So overall, it's still doing pretty darn good in terms of of assets out there. As a matter of fact, if we take a look at the gold Bitcoin ratio, the rise of digital gold in one chart, in 2012, one ounce of gold was still worth 400 Bitcoin, now less than 0.05 Bitcoin. And it continues to drop as we speak. So with Bitcoin move above $45,000 not sticking, it puts the overheated Bitcoin, the overheated Bitcoin data back in the spotlight meaning we might have a bit of a correction. Now, if we take a look here at the descending mid-cycle top trend, where this trend line coincides with uh, the red dot right down here, basically we had pretty significant corrections, 49%, 38%, 53%. Now, a 33% correction from where we are right now would bring the price down to $30,000, a level that Willy Woo says we'll never break below again. Could we be headed there? Certainly possible, especially if there's maybe one or two of these ETFs do not get approved, yeah, that could cause some pretty serious 
price drops. As a matter of fact, this chart right here also suggesting we might see a price drop. Now, we have a trend line drawn from the bottom of the bodies of these candles. And after Bitcoin price breaks through there, it retests it. Happened here in 2016. Same thing here in 2020. Well, as of right now, we have not retested that line. That's at $35,000. So may not be going all the way to 30 or below, but we might be headed back towards 35,000 in the near future unless this daily chart takes over. We have a golden cross of the MACD on the daily chart. The last two times were 30% and 22% on average, roughly a 26% gain from where we are. Hey, could put Bitcoin roughly $54,000. So we'll have to see which direction it heads in the short term. Either way, it's going to be exciting. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, push the like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.